I'm not quite sure how we managed to sleep on hair growth secrets from Haiti, but here we are with this. This is the Creole Essence Haitian Black Castor Oil. And with this little bottle, it took us no time to see how and why women's hair is growing from this. But you can't use it any old way. That's why we were able to find out five ways and practices from Haiti that will keep your hair growing from this tiny little bottle. So keep watching. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Ebony of Erica. And we talk a lot about hair growth on our channel, whether it's our own, or we also do like hair growth tips from other countries. And for this video, we are doing Haiti. And we figured that Haiti would be like the perfect country to do because A, it's Caribbean Heritage Month. B, a few of our subscribers are Haitian. And then C, this brand is black owned, black and female owned. Uh, it's owned by uh, Eve Car Perus and her husband, Stefan Jean Baptiste. So Eve actually came up with this idea of selling the oil because she had a few hair setbacks herself. She lost her hair and hair around her edges. So she decided to look to our country's main hair growth secret to fix it, and that is Haitian black castor oil. So knowing that, let's get into five ways, tips, and secrets that we learn from Haitian practices with this oil. Okay, so the first one is super obvious, but there's more to it, but this is the real, real castor oil from Haiti. It's actually not easy to get your hands on, which is why this company exists. And a lot of what Haitians contribute to their own hair growth is their own castor oil. We know a lot about black castor oil because we use the Jamaican black castor oil in our hair routine. If you guys seen videos, we scalp massage with it. But between the two, Haiti was actually the first country that started using castor oil and their castor oil just hits a little bit different. Here's why. Now their castor oil is known as Palma Christi oil and it's just processed a little bit differently. Um, Haitians use their hands to process it. So after roasting castor beans, they use mess screens to filter out the ash from it. So now you have black castor oil with very little ash, unlike Jamaican black castor oil, which has way more. So because Haitian black castor oil has less ash, that means their castor oil gets to keep a lot of the beneficial components that work very well with hair. So one of the main benefits um, of it having less ash is that it has more acidity, which could actually benefit our hair because we do have relaxed hair. And the acid that the oil has more of is called ricinoleic acid. And anything high in, ac in acid will actually be lower in pH, which is the goal of anybody with relaxed hair like us. When you relax your hair, the pH balance of your hair is usually a little bit high, and that happens with anyone who chemically treats their hair. So the goal for us with having relaxed hair is to keep our pH balance a little bit lower because having a high pH balance does make your hair weaker and prone to breakage, so we can keep it at a lower level, that'll be perfect for it to just come in and grow a lot healthier and stronger. That's where Haitian black castor oil comes in and how it helps our hair journey. Don't get me wrong, Jamaican black castor oil is still good, but I feel like Haitian black castor oil, especially learning more about it, I feel like it's more tailored towards our hair and what we need, um, especially with us being relaxed. It's also tailored made for our scalp, it just absorbs better. And the properties that come with how Haitians make their castor oil really show why it's perfect for growing hair. We mentioned how much acid comes from it, but there's also a lot more iodine that comes from it as well, and that is a result of them uh, hand processing it. Now iodine is a mineral that works to just kind of regenerate growth in your hair follicles and it works together with the acid to really kind of um, help keep bacteria away from your scalp that could end up in hair loss. But if you really want your hair to like grow or see results with growth with Haitian black castor oil, you have to use it in a way that absorbs better into your scalp. And Haitians do that, their common practice with using their castor oil is to use it with indirect heat. If you guys are unfamiliar with that concept, heat is great for working product into your scalp and your hair. So what you can do is just section your hair, drop the castor oil into your scalp, um, you can put like a hot towel over it, or for me, I have a hot head heating cap, so I just put that over it. And you can massage it in, um, you can leave it in for 45 minutes, or you can sleep overnight with it. That's a common practice as well, but clearly, as you guys can see, there's no way to cut corners, or you just don't want to cut corners when you're using this oil. So the fourth growth secret is that it's not only great for your scalp, but it's also great for your hair because it makes your hair softer and it makes it stronger because it coats your hair for moisture. Yeah, so if y'all have been fighting with your new growth these past couple months like me, you know that softer and stronger is like the main goals for us, especially in this area. And you can tell Haitians take great pride in taking care of their skin and their hair just by the way they make their castor oil. So it's able to trap in moisture than any other castor oil, and that way it's able to coat your hair and seal it in. This oil is extremely thick, and I already know with me and using this, I'll probably use it closer to wash days. Um, because it's super thick, but I mean, I feel like it will work better with me for wash days. Not only for that reason, but also, like I said, my new growth has been a hot mess. I mean, salons are closed and stuff, so I've been starting to pre-poo now before I wash my hair just to kind of treat my new growth and make sure that it's moisturized and 
um, manageable without me trying to break it off. I know this is going to be really good for that. Yeah, so if my new growth is soft and manageable, I don't have to worry about breakage and it'll just continue to grow. The fifth secret is their magic in the braiding. Um, I know as kids, our moms and grandmas would braid our hair, so it's probably what allowed our hair to grow. So yeah, braids are nothing new to us, but I was reading up on Haitians and their um, braiding traditions. And I noticed that the article, the particular article I was reading said there was magic in the braiding. So I was like, what is the magic? And then I kept reading and they mentioned, they used this term called Lihul Mascriti. And come to find out that's what Haitians use. It's another name for their castor oil. So it's like, okay, so the magic is the braiding and the castor oil combined together. That's what created the magic. I'm, I'm assuming that's what it is and stuff, but that's why, how I put it together that the, the castor oil and their braiding together created magic. So the braiding and castor oil combined gave protection for your hair at night from elements from manipulation and tingling. Alright, so we love breaking down this oil and Haiti's hair growth secrets. Um, like we mentioned, we have a few of our subscribers that are Haitians. So if we missed anything or you want to add to it, make sure you let us know in the comments below. Also, this castor oil you can get from their website or you can get it from Ulta, which is where we found ours. Yeah, this company, Creole Essence, is like the real deal when it comes to um, helping out Haiti's economy with exporting and creating jobs for women. They work directly with farming and everything in Haiti. So if you guys want, just throw support their way. That's pretty much how we're getting the castor oil from Haiti is through this, so it's like, it's direct with them. Like I said, it's black female owned, so we'll have links below so you guys can check out, you know, how they came about. If you do have any other black owned uh, businesses or brands that mm -hmm. you know of, leave them in the comments below. We're trying to warn that aspect, so we do want to kind of figure out, you know, other brands or discover any other brands as well. We love you guys, and we'll see you guys next Sunday for uh, another video. Bye!